What is that Toy Story that's from? I ain't watched that in about 10 years. I can't even remember what happened in the film. I ain't got a clue. I probably heard him on the radio, but I probably didn't even know who they was or if it was them. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First one comes in from, uh, from Rob. What's the most important goal you've scored so far in your career? Um, I haven't scored much important ones, if I'm honest, if I'm trying to think. Um, that's a good question. I actually don't know. Uh, I actually don't know. Is the one that you've enjoyed the most then? or? Mm, when I was playing under 21s for West Brom, we played Birmingham, we had to score to go um, into that. You know that you do the under 23s league, you had to get into the final and I scored, so that was probably my favourite one so far. But in men's football, you know, I can't really think to be honest. Uh, next one comes in from Martin. If Buzz Lightyear doesn't think he's a toy in the first Toy Story, how come he keeps stop? Well, how come he stops moving every time Andy comes in the room? I can't I watch Buzz Lightyear. I mean, what is that Toy Story that's from? I ain't watched that in about ten years. I can't even remember what happens in the film. I know who Buzz Lightyear is, but I can't even recall what happens in the film. <laughs> uh, next one comes in from Will. Uh, why didn't you keep the mental? orange afro from last week? No, basically, when my hair is in at the moment, it's plaited. So when I take it out, it's an afro. So people that obviously don't understand hair, like they'll think it's two different things, but it's actually my hair, but it's just, when it's like this, it's not as, as bright. Next one comes in from, from Ryan. What gave you the inspiration to become a footballer? Just from young, I had a lot of energy, so my mum and dad got me into it and then, um, I was decent at it, so and I enjoyed doing it. So I just stuck out really, and then obviously, the older I got, obviously the more serious I got about it, and I just stuck with it. And next one comes in from Daniel. If you were to have one player that you loved as a child play with you at Tramia, who would it be? Henri, favorite player ever. Yeah, he's the best. Uh, next one comes in from Max. Uh, favorite moments in your footballing career so far? Uh. I would say probably when I signed my first professional deal, not in the forest, and I was on the bench for the first team, that was probably, because it came out of nowhere, it was probably my best moment so far, yeah. Uh, next one comes in from Adam Barlow. Who's the most technically gifted player at Tramia? I'd say Banksy. Yeah, Banksy's got a bit to be fair. I can't tell him that, but yeah, Banksy's got a bit. I think you just did. Yeah, you'll find that out now. <laughs> <laughs> next one comes from Thomas. This is a three-part question. Who's the quickest, the slowest, and the best or worst dressed out of the lads at the club? Uh, quickest, we always have this running debate, because obviously Corey's quick, Rush is quick, Jake thinks he's got a bit, so we all argue who's the fastest out of us four, so I think before the end of the season we're going to have to have a race. Uh, slowest, I don't know, that's a bit of a tricky one. To be fair, after last week, I see a player give Banksy about 15 yards, and went round him, so I think Banksy could be up there, the slowest. Worst dressed, uh, I haven't really been out with a lad, so I ain't really, everyone just wears tracksuits into football, so I'll have to wait until maybe the Christmas do or something like that, and then see who's, who's got the worst club, I'll get back to you. And the funniest? Funniest, uh, Kane's up there, but I would say Kane, because I was with him last year at Walsall, and um, Corey makes me laugh as well, to be fair. Uh, next one comes in from Paul. Would you rather make your internet browsing history uh, accessible to yeah. everyone for the next 12 months yeah. or give up the internet for the next 12 months? Give up my, um, my browsing history. I don't go on anything bad on my phone, so I wouldn't mind that one. I couldn't go about internet for a year, no joke. Sure. Uh, next one comes in from George McLean. Uh, if you could score a hat-trick against any team, who would it be? Probably Sunderland away, because it's the biggest, biggest um, stadium and biggest fan base. Uh, one comes in from Ryan. Who do you think the best player in the world is? Messi, undoubtedly. Easy, that one. Nice and easy, that yeah. one. Uh, Callum Atherton sends one in. Uh, how do you get your hair so lovely? Just wash it and take care of it. I've got to, I've got to give my um, hairdresser all the credit. Uh, good one coming in from Will Woods. Uh, what's your favourite ABBA song? <laughs> I ain't got a clue. I probably heard them on the radio, but I probably didn't even know who they was or if it was them. <laughs> I will swear that one. <laughs> uh, Harry has sent one in. Who's the best player to ever play, in your opinion? And who is the best player you've ever played with? 
I'd say best players to play ever that I've seen, I would say, because I've seen Ronaldo in the flesh. I think Messi's better than Ronaldo, but I haven't seen him. So obviously when I watch Ronaldo play, obviously it's just the little things he does and obviously like how dedicated he is to his craft and his goal scoring record's a joke. And um, what was the other one? The best player you've played with? I would say probably Wilf Zaha when I was at Palace. Yeah, he's unreal. Yeah, Wilf's good, yeah. Uh, Callum Reeves has sent one in. How do you feel now that you're playing for a team that you shushed last season and do you regret shushing us? Yeah, it's a bit of a funny one because obviously you never know what's going to happen in football and I was getting a bit of stick. So obviously now I'm here, I just want to do the best I can. But yeah, it's funny how things can just come full circle. And uh, final one from Ben May. What's it like having all the Bolton fans boo you last week? Yeah, I feel like if the, other, if the opposition fans are booing you, it shows you're doing something good. If they're cheering you, that means you're probably helping their team out. So any team I play against, if I can get their, their fans not liking me, that means I must be doing something right. Brilliant. Thank Cheers. you, Morgan. Thank you. Cheers.